What is a palpably unfair act? A palpably unfair act is a foul or a flagrant and illegal act has a major impact on the game. Where penalties were not enforced, the offending team would gain a major advantage. The rule is purposely vague, giving officials free reign to define the act and associated penalties. The penalty is defined as being equitable to what would have happened if the act had not occurred. This can result in giving points if an act prevented an obvious score of a touchdown or field goal. In addition, the NFL has an extraordinarily unfair act where the commissioner can levy fines, take draft picks, order the replaying of games or suspension of games, and even overturn the game result. That's the palpably unfair act in a nutshell. Here's the compilation. On the 79 yard run, the frustration level was growing on the Alabama bench, and a fullback named Tommy Lewis finally had all he could stand. As Magel broke down the field for another long run, Lewis suddenly jumped up from the Bama bench and made a picture perfect tackle. Then he retreated back to the bench and became the first player in the history of the Cotton Bowl to try to hide during a game. Magel was awarded a 95 yard touchdown and he finished with 265 yards rushing. saving tackle what a play by Cortez Allen to give his team a chance this thing opens up wide open and they've got a blocker in front for Sweezum. they had no chance whatsoever and Cortez Allen is basically keeping the Steelers in this thing they take that touchdown off the board the most unsportsmanlike act that I've ever been around the incident unfolded when Patriots head coach Ron Meyer called on an unexpected source to set the wheels in motion for victory. Snowplow driver Mark Henderson, a convicted burglar employed at the stadium on a weekend work furlough program, rode to the rescue and cleared a small area that enabled the Patriots to get a toehold for a field goal. But I was bewildered. I, I really was bewildered about what was happening out there on the field in front of my eyes. And uh, the magnitude of it never really set in until after he had lined up and kicked the field goal. Smith comes to the ball. There is the boot. It's flying downfield, and it's good. Patriots lead. John Smith puts it through. I don't know whether to look on that as a good point in my life or a tremendously bad point. I'm sure if uh, you were the other coach on the other sideline, you would say it would be a black mark. but. I know one thing, I can live with myself on it, and it wasn't an attempt to deceive, or uh, it wasn't a... Worsing, it'll be a 20-yard chip shot. Well, I don't believe that was a fake. And I don't know what you do about a snowball hitting your holder just as he tries to place the ball down. That's also very dangerous, unsportsmanlike and dangerous. But it does not reflect well on the fans here at Mile High Stadium. Kavanaugh, looking at bouncing snowballs all around him, trying to get the ball. Freak will send on Max Runniger to punt with 15 seconds to go. Leo Lewis is back. Do you, on fourth down. Do you try to do you block it or do you set up the return? You have the option of either. They've got 10 men up. They 
to set up the return. And a fair catch. Goal by Leo Lewis. It comes with seven seconds, now six. I'll tell you what. The game because of the snowballs that continue to come from the stands. Oh, boy. The repeated pleas and the sign on the big scoreboard is not enough to uh, keep the fans from the field and the Schrager, snowballs. knock it off. Peter Schrager. Is Peter Schrager the one throwing the snowballs? Yeah. Cut it out, hey. Peter. It's all fun and games, uh, but Mike McDaniel was just having a long chat with the officials about it because these are ice balls, and they're coming, and they're getting pelted all over the Dolphins' sideline. And McDaniel's just asking, what's the deal? Can it be a 15-yard penalty? I know Mike Pereira's with us, but he was just asking the refs what the call is. He's not complaining, just saying the facts as the entire Dolphin sideline is getting pelted with snowballs that are really, there is ice in it. No, it's, it, that's not a, that's, that, there's, it's a safety issue at some point. And right now, everybody's just in a holding pattern as the Bills fans have found the snow. And here, here's the deal. We got eight inches or more of snow in this stadium early today, but they cannot go through the stands and clean it out before the game. Mike Pereira is with us in Los Angeles, our rules analyst. And Mike, what what is the what can the officials do about this with the snowball situation? Well, they can run for cover. I mean, that's what the, that's about it. When you think when you think about Bottlegate that we had before. So they, if it happens again, they, they will are to say that they can penalize them as a last resort, but you know that's a difficult situation to get involved with because you never know for sure oh. who's throwing them. Although you don't think many. Lumen Field. They let you know they're here. Play fake. Over the middle. Oh! Intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. Diggs out of.